Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you, the first card is about feeling uneasy. It's the card, a card of uneasiness. So something's going on that you're not too comfortable with. You're not too comfortable in the people, with the people that you're dealing with. Maybe you're feeling a little bit um, out of sorts or maybe you're feeling a little bit isolated. You can see this person's been, you know, kneeling and everybody's, uh, standing up and dancing around them so maybe you know things are going on around you uh, you're not comfortable with and you're feeling a bit left out maybe uh, a bit isolated you've got the affinity card over here and this is talking about um, uh, having empathy for uh, things going on around you or people around you so maybe you've made some new friends or maybe there are people around you that you can get along with uh, for the most part, maybe, you know, you've been feeling out of sorts, but maybe there's somebody that has been taking you under their wing uh, wherever you've been working and making you feel a little bit more comfortable there. Now, you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over here, so there's a big change coming in for you, uh, you know, maybe a big career move, uh, but certainly uh, an ending off a, an old situation and something brand new beginning. Maybe this new change is the thing that is causing that uneasiness for you. Now, um, you've got the chance card of year. In the past of year, there was something that, there was a risk that you took, something that you did that you didn't, an opportunity presented itself to you. Uh, maybe you were not comfortable taking it, but you did take that risk because this is something that has happened in the past. And you've got the Argonaut of year. So this is about making, uh, you know, new inroads, uh, starting something brand new, uh, exploring new territory. And it seems like maybe you've started a new course, a new pathway, and, um, you know, you've taken that chance, that risk. It was something that was out of your comfort zone. And maybe that is the thing that has been making you feel a bit uncertain or uneasy because you are out of your comfort zone. You know, it was something that you wanted to do. You've, you've got that affinity card of your feeling, you know, like it's something that you uh, could relate to or even the people that you're working with that you could relate to. Um, but it is something brand new for you, and, you know, it's made you feel a bit uneasy. Now, there's that change coming in, as I said, with that um, Wheel of Fortune. Now, going into the future, you've got the Passion card over here, and, um, you know, this is um, about doing the thing that you really love and something that you need to focus on for yourself. You've got Leo, uh, the sign of Leo over here. Now, be careful. There might be some toxic people around you. You might be in a situation where people are a bit controlling as well. Now, this is the uh, Devil card, usually in the main... Um, in the normal tarot deck so you might be dealing with a toxic person or very manipulative person so be aware of that this person's got a big snake a cobra in their hand so you know somebody might be appearing to be your friend but they're not because they're very very controlling and they're trying to get you to do things that you don't really feel comfortable with and maybe this is why that uneasiness card is there then you've got the unexpected over here so this is about some sort of uh, surprise coming in for you something uh, that you didn't really um, foresee so something brand new coming in but it's going to allow you to focus again focus your attention so if you're feeling um, you know like you really don't know what you're doing something is going to come in some kind of um, scenario um, you know with the wheel of fortune these are events that you can't control so something something coming in that is going to allow you to uh, take control of that situation you can see if you look at these two cards you can see that this uh with the unexpected this person's got their uh bow and arrow aimed at this uh devil over here so this is anubis really uh they're you know whoever this toxic person is or whoever you're dealing with who is going to who's giving you a bit of grief maybe um you're going to be able to um to sort them out um, and regain your focus as well so you know you're going to be able to sort this toxic person out uh something is going to be some event is going to come into your arena, some kind of unexpected opportunity coming in, some sort of surprise coming in that's going to allow you to take control of that situation again. So these are the events or the energies that are um, going on within those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Vanessa Tarot, and this is for the main read. Right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, you've got the King of Cups over here. 
Um, so this could be somebody uh, that is very supportive of you or somebody bringing you an offer. So there might be somebody around you that is giving you that support, taking you under their wing, as I said, uh, you know, giving you that advice that you need to get through a difficult situation. They are offering you some kind of advice. There's that cup over there. And, you know, they're, they're somebody in authority. So you are... Um, you can rely on their advice because it's going to be for your benefit as well. And maybe they give you that emotional support as well. Uh, so there's some kind of advice that you are getting uh, from somebody around you that, and they are giving you that kind of support that you need. Now, what you're dealing with, you're dealing with the King of Wands over here, who is uh, maybe another person that you're dealing with, somebody in authority, somebody who is very, very, very much in charge, uh, you know, at the top. And, uh, you know, they, they sort of, give out the rules or give out the regulations and you're just supposed to follow. Um, you know, there's somebody who does a lot of public speaking as well, uh, somebody who's very much in the limelight. And they seem to be giving you, uh, you know, you feel as though, I think, with the seven of coins that you're working very, very hard, putting a lot of effort in it, into it, but um, you're not getting an uh, a return from your investment. So whatever you're working at, uh, you know, you're feeling as though you're waiting, maybe you're waiting for some kind of promotion or waiting for something to come in, but maybe it's not paid off yet. Or maybe, you know, it hasn't come into your arena because this person is preventing it from uh, standing almost as an obstacle or standing in your way of uh, progressing further. And you're feeling a bit disappointed and dis despondent. So there's something that is uh, around you that is preventing you from moving on and or uh, climbing up that career ladder or someone rather. And, uh, you know, they, um, are po they are presenting some kind of obstacle to you. It look it. It could be a fire sign person because, you know, the king of wands, wands, cards, rules, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And maybe they are, uh, are causing some kind of drama, some kind of problem for you. Uh, and, you know, whatever hard work you're putting in uh, is not paying off because this person is preventing you from actually progressing. Maybe you're not getting that raise that you want or maybe you're not getting that promotion that you need. So in the past, it looks like you started with something brand new. You've got that page of wands over here. Maybe there was some trouble, uh, but also with the page of wands, it's starting a new venture, a new project and working on that. So something, something brand new or plans were made to start that particular new project. And that seems to have happened in the last year. So you started something brand new and it looks like in this last few months you've been working very, very hard. You've got the magician card over here. So being very focused and also, uh, you know, manifesting in the sense that, uh, you know, whatever thoughts and ideas that you've had is now being being put into action. Um, it is also a card of communication, so maybe collaborating with a lot of people, uh, you know, going to a lot of business meetings, juggling a lot of things and, you know, working on time constraints, deadlines. You've been very, very busy and very, very productive as well. Now, uh, that magician card is ruled by Mercury, and this is your card. So, you know, Mercury is your, your sign, so you have been working very, very hard. Now, you have some kind of choice that you have to make, and this is another Mercury card, um, and uh, there's a big decision that is coming up for you, a choice about whether to go, to stay, uh, what to do next. So you are at crossroads in your life about what you want to do because you are feeling as though, you know, whatever is going on in this particular job, it's almost like it's a dead end job that it's not going any further because whatever you're investing is not paying off. And you are working very, very hard over here. You can see you've got your thinking cap on over here. You've got the scarf in this here. You've got a scarf here as well. And she's got a hat over here. So you're doing a lot of, uh, uh, intellectual work, whatever you're doing, it's got a lot of intellectual, you know, it, it's, it's very intricate work. Um, uh, is a lot of strategy, there's a lot of planning uh, and such involved in that particular field that you're working in. So going into the future, you've got the Queen of Coins over here, and this is the card for Virgo as well, because uh, it rules um, the Pentacle suit, uh, which rules the Earth signs, and this is about being on top. So it looks like whatever you've been waiting for, even though you feel as though, you know, it's not coming through and somebody's standing, standing as an obstacle, and, you know, you're feeling a bit despondent because, you know, you feel as though things are not being... You're not getting uh, your just rewards. It looks like you are going to be coming into your own over here. And it looks like there might be a promotion in for you here. With the Queen of Pentacles, it's getting a position of leadership, authority, management, that kind of position coming in for you where you're more financially comfortable and you're able to sort things out. So, you know, the waiting is going to pay off for you. Whatever you're waiting for, looks like it is going to come into your arena. And it's going to end any kind of problems that you've had. So it's going to be a point where, you know, all these... Um, you know, you might be going through some kind of emotional distress as well. And all of that comes to an end with this Ten of Cups. Because, you know, with this Ten of Cups, it's as though you want to just leave everything and go away. But I think, you know, with this Ten of Cups, and then you've got that Queen of Pentacles over there, it might be just, 
you know, you can even see you've got that uh, Six of Cups. There's that offer that comes in here. So there's an ending of a cycle over here, um, you know, um, something difficult ending and something brand new going to begin. But there's also celebration in the background over here. So it looks like, you know, whatever you feel that you've not been getting uh, just rewards for, you're not getting pay a pay off for, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, that might not be the case. It might be that, you know, you are going to get that promotion that you want. And it looks like an offer is coming in for you with the Six of Cups. And you have been waiting for this offer for a long time. Um, and you've been, you know, it's in a place that you've been working in for a long time as well. So it looks like there is that promotion coming in for you, uh, that uh, new offer coming in for you. And there is that ending of that old cycle of being depressed or unhappy or feeling as though you're not going anywhere in life. So there is a celebration coming in over here. You can see, and, you know, a uh, reward is coming in for whatever you have been working towards. So this investment is going to pay off with the seven of coins. Now, uh, you've got this Queen of Cups over here, so you have been feeling a bit low, uh, feeling a bit down, maybe crying a little bit about whatever's been going on, and feeling a bit lonely and a bit isolated as well with the Queen of Cups, um, you know, and, you know, worried, really worried about what is going on. So going into the future, you've got the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Swords. Well, the High Priestess, it's about, you know, using that intuition, ending of old cycles, but also, uh, you know, things have not quite been revealed. Maybe you just have to sit and wait. With the, the High Priestess, it is about not being too proactive, and it is about sitting and things do fall into your hand. And, and uh, you know, information will, be, will come to light. At the moment, things ha are being kept from you, are being hidden from you, and there's things going on in the background that you really are not aware of. So, um, you know, it's maybe you should just hang in there and wait for things to happen. And it looks like the outcome is going to be a pleasant one as well. You've got the Wheel of Fortune over here. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is usually a positive change coming in and things starting to move on. It is a positive card. It is ruled by Jupiter. So it does bring expansion uh, and, you know, more communication, more travel, that kind of thing. So it looks like, you know, there is going to be something positive that comes in. And you might just need to hang in there uh, for, for you to uh, reap the rewards. You are feeling very, very trapped. Maybe you are not getting along with the people around you. You've got a lot of swords being thrown at you. Maybe, you know, people appear to be really nasty around you, but really they are recognizing your hard work. People are seeing that you are very organized and you're a very, very hardworking person. And maybe because of that, uh, this new offer will come in with that Six of Cups and bring in some kind of relief, some kind of happiness coming in for you. Now, there is that decision you have on your mind. So, uh, you know, it might be that you just need to hang in and not act too hastily. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Fairy Tarot. And the first card is the Two of Winter. And this says, uh, indecision is holding you back. Make a choice that is best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotion, emotional. So you really are, you can see that you are at that, uh, you know, Two of Winter. There's, a, there's that Two of Swords over here. Uh, you know, two of winters, the two of swords by trying to make a decision. Uh, you know, maybe there's some power play, power struggle going on around you as well. But with the two of winter, you know, with the two of swords, there's, uh, you know, information is always never revealed completely. Um, because, and you know, you have to sit and wait, uh, you know, and not get too emotional about the situation. Wait for that decision to be made. So it looks like there is some kind of decision that is pending around you. Maybe there's somebody making a choice as to whether to, um, you know, uh, give you that particular post or give somebody else that particular post or that promotion. And maybe you just have to sit and wait. Uh, but it looks like you're going to be getting it because you've got that Queen of Cups, uh, Queen of Coins over here. So it looks like you know you just have to wait. With the with the High Priestess, it talks about things going on behind the scenes that you're not really aware of, and things might be going in your favor. So try to be positive. Don't see the negative of it. It might be actually going in your favor because you are feeling a bit depressed over here. So you need to let go of that worry and fear and understanding the truth behind the situation. So there's something going on, but it's going on behind the scenes. A uh, decision is being made, uh, but you are not aware of what is going on, really. So things are being uh, put into action over here. And you can see there's that Ace of Autumn over here. So a windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a successful project, a happy change in your career. So even though it seems like things are not going your way right now, maybe you feel like you're wasting your time in this particular position, 
It actually is not the case. Uh, the cards are saying that, you know, uh, there's this new position coming in for you and new money is coming in. So that new promotion looks like it's on its way to you here. And you just need to hang in. The High Priestess says, you know, don't be too proactive. Don't go and upset the cart just yet. Uh, just wait. These things, the Wheel of Fortune is going to come and turn. Events will be turning in your favor right now. And, you know, it's going to be something that you least expect uh, and that... Um, offer or that new promotion or that new job is coming your way. So just hang in there. Uh, it looks like things are going to move into a positive direction. A decision is being made behind the scenes, but don't let your neg negativity or don't let depression or, you know, expecting the worst case scenario energy get you down, uh, you know, rise above it because it seems like it's going to be a happy outcome. Um, and, you know, you're going to have a progress is going to come your way. Uh, you know, that promotion is going to come your way or new money is going to come your way. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.